What's up everybody, it's the Pickleball Dad, aka Jacob with the All Drive No Drop Team and I'm talking about the Fire 14mm today from a newer company called Speed Up. And uh, just get this out of the way, I did talk to the owner of Speed Up and he did tell me you are not required to speed up every dink with this paddle. So I just wanted to clarify that for you, get that out of the way before we start. But let's just drop the price right now, it's 108 with the discount code all drive no drop so i'm happy to bring another good value paddle to you and honestly the fire paddle is one of the best paddles for former tennis players that are just getting into pickleball it's a question i see asked all the time what's a good paddle for me i'm a tennis player that's transitioning and i'm happy to announce this is a great value for those former tennis players. Well, let's get into the specs real quick. So this is a pretty uh, generic thermoform paddle as far as the, all the uh, the main construction. It has the T700 raw carbon fiber face. It has the foam injected sidewalls and it's thermoform. So what makes it a little unique is you do have the curved top and then it will get into the, the rest of it, but it is a 16 and a half uh, inch length and a 7.5 inch width so that's all pretty standard for an elongated paddle we have an average weight at 7.9 ounces and my paddle did come in exactly at 7.9 the paddle length and width are standard width and lengths for elongated at 16.5 inches for the length and 7.5 inches for the width and then we have a handle length of 6 inches and a very nice polyurethane molded handle. It is an amazing stock grip, one of my favorites. Then we have a swing weight at 117. And if you add three grams of weight to each side at four and eight o'clock, we get a swing weight of 122, which is still very manageable. And that leads us to the twist weight of 5.69, and it goes all the way up to 6.3 with that weight setup I have which I really enjoyed that weight setup. And then for the spin, we got 20, 22 RPM. Very great spin for this category and just not as good as the uh, Volair Forza's, but this spin will keep you happy. So let's get into my ratings. Control feel, I give it an 85 power, 85 pop, 90 and spin 92. I think this might be my last or second to last time doing ratings just based off of out of 100. So I hope to have my database live and linked in future videos so that you can get a better feel of how it stacks up against the, uh, well, not entire line of the paddles, but a majority of paddles. So let's get into how the speed up fire 14 millimeter performed on the courts because that's what's most important. I felt the strongest point of the paddle was driving the ball, serving the ball, and on swinging volleys and rolls. That's where it really felt great. Whenever you're able to get that momentum going with the paddle and really whip through it with the longer handle, that's where the paddle shines. It generates a lot of spin. It generates great pop, pretty good power, and really lets you get the ball going where you want. I mean, the sweet spot is a little on the smaller side, uh, but when you're hitting that sweet spot, it's going where you want it to go. Dinking has always been a little harder for me with six inch handles. It just is such a, a touch and soft game that the longer handle, it doesn't necessarily change the, your mechanics, but you just have less room for air in the tighter area. So that's the one place I always struggle when I start using a six inch handle again. Um, I was using the Pickleball Apes Proline Energy for a bit of time as my main paddle. So I did get used to it. It's just, you know, when I'm going back and forth, I feel like that's the hardest part for me is uh, getting those dinks under control again. But that's not saying that it's bad for dinking. It just takes a little bit of adjustment. Um, the place where this paddle doesn't shine is blocking drives and resets it's probably the weakest point of the paddle it's not awful it's just not stellar but when you do add the lead tape at the four and eight o'clock uh 
like I suggested the three grams to each side. It improves the performance of this paddle a lot and honestly just makes it into a great all-court paddle. Uh, you know, having that lower swing weight for an elongated paddle this size uh, is, or the, with this handle length, it's just great because it lets you make that modification, makes the paddle even better. Uh, my biggest strength was really just those those flicks and speed ups with that pop that this paddle generates. That's another unique point of the six inch paddle or six inch handle uh, paddle that has great pop because it's a 14 millimeter and you have that tapered head which increases the, um, the swing weight or lowers the swing weight I should say increases your hand speed. I did have a little bit of issues going back and forth during hand battles uh, from forehand to backhand but not everyone's going to have that issue. I just want to point that out. The handle length does slow me down a little bit there. Overall, uh, that's that's how I played with the paddle. And I think this is a great option for tennis players or people that just like long handles in general. The handle quality is excellent. And I would have no problem bringing this paddle to a tournament. I would feel... So let's jump into what my comparison would be because I, I chose to compare it to the Gladius uh, Centurion by Spartus. Uh, since they're in a similar price range, they're not exactly the same paddle, but I think they appeal to a lot of the similar players because they're, they're about the same weight. They're the same dimensions. Where we start differing is the handle length. Uh, this the Centurion has a 5.5 inch handle, and the Fire has a 6 inch handle. So some will prefer that longer handle, but some will feel that the handle is a little too long. Uh, I, I think some people might struggle with the flicks. They might struggle going side to side. I think that's one of the big areas where maybe the swing weight's lower. But I felt when I'm going, you know, forehand to backhand in a hands battle. It did feel slower than the Centurion in that sense. Um, the Centurion has a higher stock twist weight, so it's going to have better control. It has a bigger sweet spot. Uh, it does feel like you can place the ball more, and especially blocking drives. I think that's the biggest difference between these two paddles is the Centurion's going to shine a lot better there um, in, in the control area. The spin is slightly higher on the fire and I, I do think you can generally generate a lot more spin with your rolls on the fire just because you can really get that extra whip uh, then we get into the punch the punch is uh, a lot better with the fire that 14 millimeter core really helps give you a better punch at 36.35 compared to the 35.25 of the centurion and that's gonna you know help you with your control too having less less pop on the paddle usually for me helps with my control the power is very similar uh, for the two I was just 0.1 miles per hour off on the and the difference between the two both generate uh, great power not elite but uh, enough to get the job done and then we're going with the price point you have 90 for the Gladius Centurion with code pickleball dad and then you have 108 with the Fire 14 millimeter with code all drive no drop. So not a huge difference in price. It really just comes down to whether you want that extra pop or do you want that extra control with a larger sweet spot. And then, of course, you do have to factor in the handle. Both are great for two-handed backhands. It's just you can get a little bit more whip with that six-inch handle. And some people really do enjoy that, that extra room. Uh, so those are the differences if you had to make the pick between these two or if I had to make the pick between these two I would just tell you if you feel like you you want the more pop a little bit more spin go with the fire if you want more control you want more stability go with the gladius so to conclude whether I recommend this or not, of course I recommend it. You've already seen and heard my thoughts on it. You can kind of get the the gist that I do really like this paddle. It's very fun to play with. This is honestly one of my top favorite handles. It just feels so good in your hand. And a lot of people say, oh, 
um, don't you just re-grip every handle? I mean, wouldn't it be great if you can just play a paddle out of the box or, <laughs> you know, out of whatever it comes in? I mean, this handle feels so good. And even when you over grip it, it still feels great. Um, the ball just feels crisp off the paddle. Uh, the control for how small the face is compared to smaller paddles is still really good. And you can put the lead tape uh, or tungsten tape, whatever you prefer, through grams at four and eight o'clock. And the swing weight's not too heavy to, to handle. And it really does improve that sweet spot. So it's something I, I would recommend you doing if you can handle the extra swing weight. And at a 108 price point with discount code all drive no drop, it's a great value. I, I could easily recommend this to anyone transitioning from tennis, anyone that's just looking for that six inch handle that's looking for, you know, I think this, I think, I think this is one of the cheapest options for a six inch handle. I know the, the SLK Halo, I think comes in the six inch handle. I haven't hit that. Um, but honestly, like I'm just very happy with this. The spin's great. Um, you know, you, you, I don't, I think there's only like one other 14 millimeter um, six inch handle. So that's another unique option that this paddle has. So let me know what you think about the fire. They do have a, an ice, so it's a 16 millimeter version. I haven't hit that yet, but I would generally say it's going to probably have more control, might be closer to the Spartus Gladius Centurion, but you know, this is the fire. I think this is a great, great one to review because it's just a, a very unique combination of specifications for a paddle. So go ahead and like the video if you found this information helpful and subscribe to see my future stuff. Um, and drop a comment if you've played with the fire or you've played with something that you think would be similar um, that I should take a look at uh, for further, further review and comparison. I appreciate everyone for watching. Have a great day and keep playing pickleball.